With both 2K Sports NBA 2K18 and EA's NBA Live 18 coming out on the same day, the question that some of us may ask is if NBA Live is even getting anywhere near as good as 2K. But judging on the sales figures on NBA Live 16, allegedly selling a meager 8,000 copies to 2K's 1 million copies, is it even worth it for EA to try to compete with 2K? Or should they even just maybe focus on their flagship titles like Madden and FIFA instead? Let's talk about it. Now, I'm not by any means a hardcore sports game fan, so I'm speaking about this merely as a gamer and someone who enjoys playing every game regardless of genre. The last time I even touched an NBA Live game was NBA Live 06, and I can say those days were pretty fun because of the insane dunks in the dunk contest. The next NBA game I played was NBA 2K11, and why was I impressed? With the addition of being able to play as Michael Jordan and to be able to create your own player and make your way through the league is what made NBA 2K a vastly better game than NBA Live. During that time, EA's NBA game existence started to fade while 2K continued to flourish. But as NBA Live stayed dead, 2K seemed to reach a Madden-like apex of success. The game started to be more or less the same with hardly any new content, and because 2K knew this, they started profiting immensely off of VC. And here lies the problem, lack of competition. 2K is successful for obvious reasons. The graphics keep getting better, the gameplay especially in my career is immersive, which just makes it an insanely fun game to play. I don't play basketball games that often, but I bought 2K over the years because it was so fun to play that even if you aren't a hardcore fan of the sport, you're going to have a good time. At the same time, NBA Live's graphics were struggling, it just looked very unappealing and the game struggled to make it enjoyable for most fans of the NBA. But slowly, life has started to improve, while 2K has been coasting for the most part. I'm not going to argue whether or not 2K is better than Live, because honestly, the choice is completely obvious, especially when you take under consideration the sales figures of the two. But when a game starts to become the go-to of the genre, it becomes essentially a monopoly of sorts. Publishers know their game is going to succeed no matter what, not because the game is good, but because there is literally no other option. And to increase their profit margins, they begin adding less content and more paid content. The addition of VC combining it to be a grind to get to 99 overall in my career is an example of one of those things. Although it's not impossible to achieve such a feat, it can leave you at a competitive disadvantage online. One of the things that I liked about what EA did with pro clubs and FIFA is that in order to progress your character and become a player with a high player rating, you have to play the game more and be good at it. So when playing online, whenever you see someone with an 89 or 93 overall, you know it was earned and not bought. I mean, for the most part, because people still do boost online. EA should continue to invest on making NBA Live just as good, if not better than 2K. That is so us as players are going to get the best value for the money we pay, as well as getting an amazing experience. It's going to be hard for 2K at this point, because 2K is a far more recognizable brand than Live is. On top of that, NBA 2K is now an eSports title, partnering up with the NBA. More and more players, like some friends of mine, are a part of a 2K competitive team called GFG, strictly playing 2K just because of the competitive nature and the prize involved. But still, even if you aren't on that level and you love basketball games, you should still give NBA Live a try. I mean, don't buy it if you don't want to, but play the demo. If you have EXs, play the trial. Show some interest in the game and critique it. Tell EA what you dislike about it. The reason is just not to improve NBA Live as a game, but the more attention it gets and the more it improves, it's going to force 2K to become a better game. Trust me, you don't want 2K to become like Madden, where fans literally have to beg for years to even get a substantial addition. Obviously, I know you guys are going to get 2K regardless, and I am too, but I have EA access, so I decided to give NBA Live a chance. And it's actually pretty good, so I recommend you guys go check it if you guys can get the chance to. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should EA just call it quits with NBA Live? I'll see you guys on my next video.